All right, hey girl, hey, we are back with another mobile home tour review, whatever you like to call it. So listen, um, yes, this is the Hancock. I went specifically looking for this one because it does have five bedrooms, three bathrooms, and two separate living areas. Um, the home, I do believe, is a 32 by 80. So as we come into it, of course, you come into your living room area which is slightly open to the kitchen area and the other, you know, um, you can actually properly see the second living area from that um, entryway, but still nice nonetheless. Um, I know people are going to notice the, I think they call it board and bat wall, so it's not everybody's favorite. However, some people don't mind. And as you can see, they do come in colors. This gray doesn't look as terrible as some others I've seen. Um, but yeah, it's cute or whatever. You can always change it if you like. So here we are in bedroom number five, small bedroom. Um, there are floor plans out that make this an office. If you can kind of see where that wall is not complete, like a complete square. Um, if it, if you choose to have this as an office, that is the entrance way. And it has like French doors that makes it an office. Now these bedrooms on this side are a little bit bigger. Um, still kind of small because the rooms, the bedrooms on the very back of the house are big in comparison to any of these, but still a decent size. This one's bigger than the other. So still a nice size bedroom. And then of course in a second, um, you'll see kind of one of the selling points to this house. I actually really, really, really like this floor plan. You can kind of see it right there. There's that Jack and Jill bathroom. I always think that's nice for, you know, in, in my mind. It's a bathroom that nobody else has to use, so you don't have to be all in my space. Especially in this, you know, COVID world we live in. That's if if you're gonna have people over to your home, you probably don't want to have them all in your personal bathroom. So I think that's good for that. Um, regular bathroom, nothing major, nothing to write home to mom about. Now this uh, tub shower combo, not one of my favorites. Um, solely for the fact that it could be bigger it's, it's really small i think they had a lot more room to work with but me i'm not the builder i'm just going to see them and you know hey i mean it works for somebody i tell y'all all the time fat or fluffy if you will so here we are bedroom number three 11 feet by 11 feet two inches one of the bigger rooms in the house very nice size in my opinion has decent closet space and the um, other bedroom that we're going to see across the hallway in just a second. I did look into the closet just for those who want to see inside the closet. But the other bedroom that we'll see in just a moment across the hallway. Pretty much the same exact size. Um, just as big. I always show y'all these floors in the closet just so y'all get a full idea of kind of what the uh, spacing is. So I hope that helps. Of course we have a utility or linen closet I should say at the very end of the hallway uh, these wire racks I don't think these are anybody's favorites but I guess they get the job done if you want to replace them you can um, here's a nice work area if you have kids or you know just want to put a computer area or something like that that's for everybody to use that'd be a good place for it to go um, yeah somebody had broken that chair before I got there I don't know I don't want no issues Clayton Holmes no issues please yeah, so okay, we're back in the second, well, I guess bedroom number two for all intents and purposes. And like I mentioned, it's just as big. Now, this home, I do think, has some very, very dated features like you saw. 
up uh, up over here that light globe um yeah they were doing those in the 70s and 80s cut that out clayton that is not okay and here you can see where i have actually realized while walking through the home that the lights were on there was power to this one so my bad so sorry that i didn't turn these on soon um, this is actually a hallway bathroom or guest bathroom of course you can kind of see what your guests would actually have to use if they had to you know come to the home and visit moving right along okay we're back down this uh hallway <laughs> i stopped right there i actually forgot i had seen that bedroom um first so back into the living area of course as you notice it goes directly um, kind of into the kitchen so I kind of chose to go past that into the den or second living area decent size it has nice features I like this uh, fireplace I think a fireplace always makes things look nicer than you know kind of what they are if you will decent size and it's kind of tucked off so you don't have to see it directly um, from the entrance if you don't want to and I think this would be more so the living area or den for me if it were me because you know everybody i'm kind of that old school that you want to have your quote end quote formal living area so the uh, living room that people come into yeah that definitely not be a place where people would be sitting and gathering it would be more so back here so right into the master bedroom so going to that decent size 15 by 14 and a half um i do like the fact that they did take care to put um you know, at least a fan in here, a ceiling fan. I don't know why I didn't go into that closet first, but that was the closet. We'll come back to that. Here's just to give you another perspective of the size of the bedroom. All right, sliding right into this bathroom. It has a lot of shelving and built out things and I hate when they have those mirrors right there because y'all know I'd be trying to hide from the camera but then boom there I go hey y'all of course as per normal uh regular uh, soaker garden tub not the longest not the biggest but it's fairly wide I don't understand these this shelving at the end of the bathtub like what do you really functionally store there if I put books what if they fall off into the bathtub? If I put electronics, what if it falls off into the bathtub? I just, I don't really get it. Anyway, decent sized shower. Um, not a whole bunch of extra features. Uh, it's not as up to date as it probably could be. But for the amount of space, you know, I think this one is priced just at about 130k if I'm not lying. But definitely pricing will be in the description if I have the actual pricing. So we're in that master or primary closet. Decent size, nothing major. Um, you could definitely add a second row of wire racks or shelving to kind of extend the amount of clothing and things you could store in there. So we go out into the dining area. And I specifically say the dining area because it's not a room. I don't even know if I would put a table that big right there. I would, kind of, I would probably do something like a two or three person table I could slide up against the window give me more open walking space now this kitchen is decent size I really actually kind of like the layout here so with this kitchen um of course you know we're going to show you the cabinets I don't know yeah this is the one I was I don't know if this is the one I'll show you but yeah apparently it is um it's not soft clothes nothing major like that I like that vent hood um, I don't know how if it actually works as a vent hood or if it's just decorative, but it looks nice. Um, this particular home had a lot of mirrors, and I could not hide from y'all the way I wanted to. Oh, well, such as life. I guess this would be like your kind of party wine rack. Uh, I don't know what you call that, but yeah, there it is. So here we go into like the utility room where you have your washer, dryer. Not a whole lot of space, but I guess it's enough to get... You know, to get what you need done in there, you won't be able to. Well, I guess you could, but I wouldn't stand in there to fold up clothes or try to, you know, do all that inside that room. I have to bring that out somewhere. I really like this island, although a lot of people don't like to have their sink in the island because it's like far out into the room, and if you have any issues with your plumbing, it's gonna smell. 
but it's nice nonetheless um yeah oh i do actually have pricing on this one i like this i like the cabinets around the refrigerator gives you extra storage so yeah overall i really like the house just because of the number of bedrooms the number of bathrooms and the amount of space that you have however I would prefer drywall, but you know, that's going to probably run you at least another 40000 if you do that. Anywho, thanks for watching. See y'all next time.